Meanwhile, MPs might be forced to cut short their recess and reconvene for a special sitting to discuss this latest fuel crisis. Well, this came to light as a section of MPs threatened to impeach Treasury Cabinet Secretary Henry Rotich for effecting VAT on fuel, which has now sparked a public backlash. Indeed. Stephen Leto has those details. MPs went on recess last Thursday after passing amendments to delay the implementation of VAT on petroleum products by another two years. But they have been caught off guard. The taxman already having imposed the tax on fuel. This after President Kenyatta left the country for China without assenting to the amendments. In accepting to pay the new fuel price, what you're actually saying is accepting to be taxed further. And now, Belgut lawmaker Nelson Koech wants the House back in session to salvage the situation. We find uh, insincerity in the side of the executive. So on, calling, on, on, on asking the Speaker to recall the House, I'm simply saying let us have a conversation with the executive. There has been a reason why the VAT Act of 2013 has continuously been suspended by Parliament. It is for that reason that again I will want to urge Parliament to reconvene so that we sit down and agree with the executive on the way forward. People cannot go about their businesses. The cost of living is too high. The move fueling interest from other lawmakers who have now issued a 72 hours ultimatum to Treasury CSD Rotich to suspend the new tax. We are giving you time that by the time you come back within those 72 hours, that directive should have actually come through. There is no any nation in the world that developed by taxing its poor populace. If you want to tax, if you raise money by taxation, then tax the rich. And saying that if you do not withdraw this directive, we will mobilize the people of Kenya in their numbers and in their millions to come to the streets to demonstrate and we will institute proceedings for your removal. The lawmakers have termed the move unpopular and one tax laws dating back to 2013 reconsidered. Sasa sisi tunataka kusema tutasimama imara na kaulietu ya bunge. Hakuna ushuru itawekwa kwa mafuta. Kwa sababu ikiwekwa siye tikwamba vijana watandi kwa kazi. Ni kwenda kulipa deni ambayo sisi ya tujui. Na mumesikia kathiani wamesema hiyo 16% VAT hatutaki. Wanohuru mweti nyanta tulikuchahua na wendi kiongozi. Ingilia mambo wa VAT itaremuke chini wa sawa mwanisho kwa hinda. In Kisumu town, ODM leader Raila Odinga led another group of ODM MPs who called on the former prime minister to seek audience with President Kenyatta over the matter. The parliament have decided that the common man must guess their right. Who are you? And now they want to tax the common man by increasing petroleum prices so that the common man can bear the burden of their responsibility. We are saying no. Minority whip in the National Assembly, Junette Mohamed, who fronted the amendments, says that the tax will stand suspended if the president ascends to parliament's amendments once he returns from his trip to China. MPs have blamed the situation on uncontrolled borrowing by government. For now, Kenyans have to dig deeper in their pockets until the government addresses concerns of worse days ahead. Stephen Leto, Citizen TV, Nairobi.